Welcome to a different style video from Lacombe Studio. Um, I'll be building a breakfast nook this time. And uh, this is a, a style I thought that I'd try out. Normally my videos are more artsy, but I thought I'd try this one out. Let me know uh, if you guys like it, if this is something that makes more sense, or if you liked the other artsy style. I'll probably go back and forth time-wise. It just kind of helps out. So we're doing a, a breakfast nook for a client who... who uh, really got something cool that we're going to start making and so I'm working with two by threes and using those right angle orange corners to help me keep it everything square using my I bought this Milwaukee nailer framing nailer because I knew it helped me save some time doing pocket holes it's time consuming and uh, this client I tried to do the best that I could to get this client's um, breakfast nook as soon as I could and so um got these different pieces making it as square as possible it'll help in the later part of putting the plywood on there this helps overall right keeping everything square and so this nailer just made everything go by so well there's a couple there's a couple moments where i gotta do some cleanup you know some nails busting through but overall it just was made life go by so much so much easier the end part there on the left hand side is going to be a little breakfast nook uh, sorry, uh, uh, like a shoe uh, area or like a catch-all. And so um, that, you'll see that develop as we go. And so because I couldn't get the nailer up and over, I'm just drilling these pocket hole, basically vertical pocket holes to go right in. And uh, with, with the shoe area or the area that's going to end up catching shoes and everything, I got to cut down some plywood. And, and I think this is quarter inch with this other material, quarter inch material, and uh, begin to frame out those boxes because um, I'll paint those later. So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, glue it down and these two by threes are rough cut. It was a snug fit, but got it in there. And then I get a little messy with the glue up here, but um, thankfully it's all, I'm able to clean it up and make it all look real pretty. I'm cutting a little notch for the two by three that you'll see at the top right. Um, right there it kind of accepts it really nicely and uh, so where I'm working from uh, it's Bakersfield California and you'll see me go through a couple wardrobe changes because there is it'll get hot it'll get cold it'll get rainy it'll get sunny you know all of the uh, different kinds of weather options that are out there in California so um, I, uh, I like the way that this vertical piece looked um, you'll see later how the, the front will end up coming out. And I wanted to keep everything, for the most part, uh, in similar style. And so um, using some scrap pieces to pull that off. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to put a little lid on there. Because as I started painting and as I started doing other things, I didn't want to get the inside of that box all messed up. So I put a um, couple scrap pieces together to accept what, what I'm cutting right here is going to end up, we'll walk it over and put it on top, see that little lid and get that going. So there's the plywood that I end up uh, using on the exterior of this and um, made it nice, uh, like I said, keeping it square, made it nice to put on afterwards right there, just everything kind of came together so well, felt so good. And uh, what I use here, is instead of just kind of screwing it down or, or nailing it down, I just use these clamps, get it all into place, and then just go to town on those clamps and then come back in with 18 gauge uh, nailer and start more or less fastening it to, to the frame. Do the same thing here on the other side. And I've got a small shop, so everything's on wheels. So I have this uh, longer piece on this old Craftsman base with wheels on it and my band saws on wheels my table saws on wheels i got a joiner and a planer and a sander all on wheels makes things nice because i can move stuff out and there it is again with all these clamps and i'll come back and i'll just go to town on the nailer even my air compressor that big o air compressor over there is all it's on a um, and i got a little mig welder too that's all on wheels just makes it nice so as we go forward here, continuing uh, the boxing in of that shoe, like little cubby that will be for the shoes or whatever the client will use it for, 
and just uh, getting you up close and personal, kind of covering. It's nice when you get to cover the imperfections. Ideally, I would like for that that back wall to be all one piece, but you got to work with what you got and keeping the the price um, doable. You know, this is I'm not working with mahogany. I'm not working with any super expensive material. So I like to work with clients and be aware of where we're all currently at. So got these pieces going on just to build another lid for the little cubby. And now you'll see me rip down the longer pieces that will be the exterior of the uh, breakfast nook itself. And you'll see what I was talking about when it comes to the um, vertical pieces that I wanted to keep symmetrical on the inside. So I'll cut those down later and put in the the finishing touches to cover up those two by threes on the outside here. Glued them down a whole lot and then due to the gaps and little wood imperfections um, I start putting a uh, wood filler here together this is a new material that I ended up using I really ended up liking it and uh, you put like a, a, a solution or something you put something inside of it that then makes it harden within 15 minutes and uh, go back and sand it and keep everything flush keeps it all looking real nice I wanted to keep a lot of straight lines want a lot of, a lot of straight edges um, I wanted it to be seamless I wanted it to look like it was all one piece though obviously it's not so sanding down all the wood filler that I put over the nail holes and going over and, and making everything as smooth as I could these are those pieces I ripped down earlier that will serve as the the, the decorative portion of these boxes because they're basically boxes that are now decorated and um, the client ended up going with a really cool color that I was digging um, and uh, this is nice like I said I'm going through my different outfit changes and everything and so for this project I, I went back and forth between type on 2 and type on 3 I just really enjoyed type on 3 this was something that um, you know I'm able to real quickly I go in and out this is something I do on the side so I got to do certain pieces quickly with the time that I'm allotted and so um, here I, I'm using a Harbor Freight paint sprayer which I liked for the primer but ended up coming back for the actual color itself with this like industrial professional paint sprayer that a buddy of mine had I was actually my brother my brother had this and uh, here I'm ripping down the oak plywood for the top and used a, an oscillating tool to give me those straight edges as I cut down because my my saw could not eat that I think those were 22 and a half inches and my saw only goes to 16 and you'll see that little bit that I created for the table saw that helps me in moving big oak pieces of plywood and uh, this is now going to be for the floor of the tables of the of the individual nooks themselves putting on this um, veneer with the glue on the background of it um, I really liked working with this I bought it big and cut it long so I could come back and make little cuts like that and uh, it was really nice um, kind of making everything proud and then coming back to sure it up and brought my round over bit on the router and then brought my sander just to make everything flush on that. I bought these hinges and they didn't come with screws and they didn't uh, come with a countersink. So I was showing off the countersink I had to do and then putting those screws in and when you're a one man show, one arm holds it up while the other arm screws it in and I have those two by fours on the back side to help hold on to the to the piece so it kind of leaned on it so I could have an extra arm there. This is uh, a toy box hinge that I found on Amazon that worked out just so well. Nice, clean, doesn't take up too much space. Um, I bought it for myself and then ended up using it here and uh, you can adjust the tension on it. That's the extension I was telling you about once again in the small shop. Um, you gotta work with what you got, so I built this with um, two by fours and, and these hinges again that I got from Amazon that lock and hold.
hold up and uh, it's just really nice to kind of make your table saw bigger than it actually is. That's a Craftsman 100 table saw. And in my previous video, that's the, that's the project I cut my thumb off on. This is, uh, uh, I wiped it down after sanding, um, stained it, sanded it, wiped it, and I'll stain it again. This is just a process I like. I go, I go the distance of the grain once I'm at this point. I go long ways just to kind of keep it more uniform. I tried to do that initially, uh, but you kind of get in your own zone, in your own world. Wipe it down after you apply that stain. I got the third point or the third piece on the other, on the back side of the shop that I went and did there, and then I'm sealing it here with a matte finish. And uh, I'll do two coats of that, sanding in between it, a light sanding. I think at 320 is what I did. And uh, just a very light sanding. I'm not even putting hardly any pressure on it. But it does kick up a lot off camera. I will wipe it down and then apply the, the uh, final coat of that. And then it's basically ready to be installed. From there, I load her up, I fasten her in. And uh, that's what the two pieces look like together. Maybe early on in the project, you saw that little two by four that I left. It's just a, a placeholder so that it would, they would, they would connect like a Lego. And so I had to fasten that piece down. And uh, there we are. I'm glad the colors match the rest of their cabinetry. And this is it living in its space. And that little half inch area worked for lifting up the, the lids. So. Hope you guys like this video. Um, if you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. And uh, I might do more of these. Maybe not, but thanks for tuning in.